Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Perpetual here. If you're new, you are warmly welcome. And guys, thank you for joining me today as we make some contemporary stew. Whether you call it contemporary stew or palava sauce, it is absolutely delicious. And for today, I am using some sunflower oil and I am mixing it with some palm oil. Guys, don't ask. I just like the flavor of the two. I actually prefer it with vegetable oil, but I do like the flavor that I get from palm oil. So I added a little bit of that and then went in with some sliced onions and some momone or fermented fish. All right, so I'm gonna give it a quick stir and allow it to cook just for a few seconds. And then I will be going in with some blended onions and pepper. I typically would cut up or chop the onions and put it into the stew, but I was making it for a friend and he does not like a lot of onions. So this is exactly how I ended up making it. And after a few minutes, I went ahead to add some diced tomatoes. For the tomatoes, I'm using fresh tomatoes. I take out the seeds and then I dice it. I like to slice it into different sizes just so that the smaller ones will cook completely with the stew or the sauce. And then I'll have a few large ones that will not completely integrate into the stew just so that I have a little bit of color. While the stew cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and add some water about a quarter cup to the amount of contumery that I am using and I'll be steaming it for a few minutes. And then for the stew, I went ahead to add some smoked mackerel or salmon as we call it in Ghana, but it is just smoked fish. Um, I'm adding a little bit of that to the stew and I'll be covering it up to cook for a few minutes. Now, if you're not using contumery or if you do not have access to contumery, you can always use baby spinach. And if you're using baby spinach, you actually don't need to steam the spinach before you put it into the stew. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Now, at this point, I went ahead to add a little bit of salt to my stew. And I am also adding a little bit of seasoning cube or tablet. This was rock hard, but I could have put it in the microwave for a few seconds to soften it up. But because I was using such a small amount, I did not mind breaking it up with my fingers. All right, so once that cooks down for about a good five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my eggs. I always add my eggs one at a time because I like to crack it on into a separate bowl and then get that into my stew. I don't want any shells. I don't want to risk a bad egg getting into my stew either. I love the skillet from Mercy Cookware. I love using it. I use it almost every day, but it does not come with a lid. So I have to end up using a lid from another pot just to cover it up um, to allow the eggs to cook. I like to get my eggs almost fully cooked before I stir it. It's just a personal preference. You can mix it whenever you're comfortable with mixing it. Now, of course, you can always use igushi or igusi or melon seeds um, in place of the eggs, or you can use both. I just prefer to use the eggs when I am using oil like sunflower oil as opposed to when I am using a large amount of palm oil. Now, when you're using smoked mackerel, you do want to make sure that you get all the bones out. Unfortunately for today, um, I think I missed a few. So I ended up picking out one or two while I was stirring the stew because it would come up and I'd just pick it out. And one thing with contumery is you do not want to oversteam the contumery or the color will get to a very dull green and it just doesn't look right. And you I feel like you're cooking out all the nutrients. So just steam it for a few minutes with just very little water and then get it into your stew and let it simmer. So after mixing it really well, I just went ahead to clean around my skillet and then I'm going to just let it simmer for a few minutes until all the water cooks out because the contumery will have a little bit of excess water. No matter how much you drain it, there's always a little bit. So just give it a chance to cook fully and then you're ready to serve. And today we had it with some boiled yam, boiled plantain, fried red snapper, and of course a boiled egg and a bit of avocado on the side. And guys, it was absolutely delicious. I really hope that you get to try this very soon. And guys, thank you all so much for coming along with me today on this delicious journey. I'll see y'all again very soon. Take care, guys. Bye.